The rapture is not biblical. The rapture is not biblical. It's February 24th, 2015. Gather around, pull up a chair. I want to, before we have our coffee, I want to apologize to those that feel they have to come on my channel and leave comments in the comment section that the rapture is not biblical. I'm talking about those that do not believe in the blessed hope and the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. They just simply can't see it. In scripture, I want to apologize for you having to look so simply uneducated in the word and not having the deeper knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that can only come from the Father. We're going to talk about the pre-tribulation rapture of the church in a moment, but gather around. I'm going to have my coffee. Let me know what you are going to share. So I, I feel sorry, and I apologize that you have to leave such comments uh, so against the pre-tribulation rapture that you really believe that Jesus, that Yeshua, would allow the born again who are saved to be punished and to be abused in such a manner as it will take place during the great tribulation. I, I feel bad for you. I want to go to announcements, but let me, uh, then we're going to talk about the pre tribulation rapture of the church. Mm -mm -mm. But I'm going to have my coffee. Let me know what are you going to share with Pastor Day this morning. It's just something I like to know. Uh, when I have my coffee, what are you sharing with PD? And do that now. Let me know in the comment section. Then we're going to get busy. All right. Okay. Let's go to ministry announcements. I want to thank so many of you that have done so much and given so much of yourself to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. I want to acknowledge Deborah, precious, wonderful Deborah. Her heart has just opened to this ministry, to our ministry. It's not my ministry, it's all of ours. A precious gift of $200 to our ministry, to the homeless. And Alicia from Texas, I received a giant box from the UPS driver yesterday filled with clothing to distribute to the homeless and we are going to do that hopefully today in the city of Flint Jackie sister Jackie how I love you another continuing support for this ministry Jackie has done so much $50 and hop precious sister who heads our music ministry over at tiny chat um, a precious gift of $25 if you feel led and you need to be moved overpowered by the Holy Spirit and convicted to give to not only this ministry but to any ministry don't just give to give pray first pray about it first and if you're led to give the link will be below the rapture of the church is not biblical a lot of people will use um, and pull from various ridiculous places now many will um, use the Margaret McDonald theory one of the most widely circulated attacks against a pre-tribulation rapture is the notion that a woman named Margaret McDonald started this theological view back in 1830 so we're all the way back to 1830 the claim is uh, typically made that McDonald received a demonic vision Passed it on to John Darby, who in turn popular, popularized it. Uh, but disproving this is so easy. Pre-trib scholars have discovered a host of rapture writings that predate Margaret MacDonald. And I want to talk about one very important one. And this goes back all the way to uh, 373 A.D., and it's Ephraim the Syrian. Ephraim the Syrian said back in 373 AD, for all the saints and elect of God are gathered prior to the tribulation that is to come and are taken up to the Lord, lest they see the confusion that is to overwhelm 
the whole world because of our sins. Going back to 373 AD, the translations and writings of one Ephraim the Caesarean, who plainly speaks of the elect, the saints and God's elect, gathered prior to the tribulation, to be taken out of the way. I mean, there is just so much scripture upon scripture. My grandmother, who raised me, lived to be a very, very old age. She never heard of and never knew about a Margaret MacDonald. And she taught through study and studying the scriptures and going to Yahweh, going to the Father for a, a greater understanding and a discernment of the scriptures, knew about the blessed hope, and she taught that to me. So the Margaret MacDonald theory, going back to what is it, 1830, we gotta go farther than that. 373 AD, Ephraim the, the Syrian tells of the rapture of the church, and it's all through scripture. So be encouraged today. We find it in Matthew 25, the parable of the ten virgins. We read in Matthew 24, um, 29, and let me just read this quickly. Immediately after the tribulation, after the tribulation, when it's all over, of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. This is the second coming when he's coming back. But now a lot of the post-trib uh, uh, believers will use this to debunk the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. But here he's coming back. And with power and great glory but listen to me and he shall send his angels this is what they gather on because they want to see that they're all confused on, on what trumpet is what because they don't have that deeper knowledge and understanding with the sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds his elect he's coming back and and he has commanded the angels to sound the trumpet and to gather his elect from the four winds. But well, here's where they get confused. From one end of heaven to the other. From one end of heaven to the other. We are not on earth. It's not from one end of earth. Then some will say, well, the four winds, and it's only north, south, east, and west on earth. There's no wind in the heavenly realm. So we are gathered to return with Yeshua from one end of heaven to the other. And of course, do I need to say it anymore? For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And also, well, the word rapture is not in the Bible anywhere. I can't find the word rapture. We've been over this so many times. So just try not to make yourself look uneducated and unfamiliar with the word. Just refrain from leaving comments. Because I'm going to have to block you. Because this is a channel to encourage the bride. I can't find the word Bible in the Bible. But when you do the translation. When you do the proper translation. You can see rapture caught up. A catching away. Bible's not in the Bible. I can't find the word Bible in the Bible. I can't find the word Trinity in the Bible. I can't find the word divinity in the Bible. I can't find a lot of words that we use every day in the Bible. It doesn't mean that there is no rapture. There is. Hang on. He's coming. And he's coming quickly. Hang on to that blessed hope. If you feel led to give to our ministry, we need your help. I will put the link below. Be encouraged. God bless.